the Clutch Pro Tour is back for 2021 and this year it's going to be bigger and better than ever. As ever, there'll be loads up for grabs on Clutch this year, with first prizes well in excess of £10,000 up for grabs, as well as starts on the European Tour, the Challenge Tour and the LPGA. We're stepping things up in every imaginable way this year, not hosting just one day as, but also running two day and three day events for the first time. What are the keys to final rounds in two and three day events as opposed to a one day? You know where you are. I suppose more. You know, you know, you you know that you're only two back going to today. You know if you can get off to a good starter on this golf course, which is doable, you're going to be right up there. I suppose the pressure can be built. So um, hopefully, you know, if I can do the same as I did yesterday on the back line, but you know, get off to a bit of a quicker start. With this being our first ever two-day event, it meant for the first time we had an overnight leader, and that man was Will Ennefer after a stunning opening round of seven under par. But with 140 players trying to chase him down, he knew he'd have to go low once more if he was to make this a victory. What went right for you out there yesterday? Um, I just got off to a nice start really. I birdied one and two and that just settled me down straight away and uh, hit a nice shot into three and just played the front nine well, went out in five under. So from there it was just set my own pace and just take opportunities if they came. I feel like it's all about the start. If I get, get a few birdies nice and early then, I think that'll set me down quite well. And again, I'll just stick to the same game plans I had yesterday. I know there's a few good players behind me. I know, you know, around level par one under is not going to get done today. So it's just go out and shoot another good score. Five shots back was teeing off three hours ago. So that's how much good, good golf has been played. And I can't say it's a, a two day event. For me now, it's a one day event and it's all, you know, guns blazing and we have to, we have to shoot a low one to win. And I'm up for that challenge. Away from the battle for top honours, we have another story of great interest here on day two at the Belfry, with brother and sister, Ben and Rosie Davies, playing together in the same group after posting the same number on day one. Brother and sister playing together in a professional event alongside each other in the same group. How was the experience for you both? Yeah, it was interesting. We obviously practiced together and trained together. We had to tone back on the mind games. Um, we were stood on the 17th and I think I was two up with two to play. And... But I was six back at one point, so only lose by one was interesting but I still got to drive home now, unfortunately. Yeah, he loses, he's driving. <laughs> With such a congested and talented leaderboard, it was always going to take something very special to come through the pack today, and Thomas Plum has tried his very best to do exactly that. He's carded a round of eight under par. Superb playing, Tom. Tom, incredible round of golf, eight under par. What went so right for you out there today? Uh, I think it was just a start, hot start. Um, I mean, four under through four, you know you're gonna, you'd like to think you're gonna have a good day. When you make the hot start like you made today and when you make a couple of eagles in the back nine, I wonder whether there's ever a thought that you genuinely could shoot a 59. Yeah, there is definitely. I mean, when I got to six through 10, I thought, you know, if I can pick a couple up before sort of 13, 14, uh, and then luckily I hold out on, on 13 to get it to eight, and I thought, you never know, there's a few wedges coming in that I could get close, but you know, I'm still happy with, with a low score like that. Despite an epic charge from amateur Aaron Edwards Hill and spirited challenges from the likes of Mitch Waite, Jamie Dick and Ryan Cornfield, who all reached the total of 10 under par, like a deadly assassin, Curtis Knight stepped up the 18th fairway, holed out for an eagle two to take the victory at the mark of 11 under par. I knew I had to try and make birdie. Um, but like, I, you know, 1% of me wanted to go for the green because obviously it's reachable, but I just think there's not the shot. Like the green's quite firm. Um, and quite small as well, so I just thought I'd stick to the game plan. Just hit five line, uh, left me 70 yards, and I just hit 54 degree and just kind of like skipped it up, landed about 64, um, skipped up there and, and just went in. Go, goes to show you never know what's going to happen down the stretch, and with enough holes left, you've got to believe that you're going to you can birdie in. Obviously, it's, it's nice to get a win early on in the season. You know, you carry a lot of confidence through that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to to the next few events. Um, I'm at Oxford next week. Uh, Enville will follow in and I think I'm due to play about, about 12, 13-ish uh, clutch events which I'm excited for throughout the year so yeah it should be good. <laughs>